Well, returning tomorrow is a summer concert series, Party on the Portico, and here to talk about it is Brian Hayden with the Buffalo History Museum and Tracy Fletcher of Music and Art is Art. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Chelsea. Okay, Party at the Portico. It's been going on for over 10 years. What can we expect this year? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's one of our favorite events of the year, you know. The History Museum's been around a long time. We've been collecting since 1862. We've been at our current home right down the street from here, you know, since right after the Pan American Exposition in 1901. So one of our missions is how do we connect people to Buffalo's history today? How do we reintroduce ourselves to the public and all the wonderful stories that Buffalo has to share? And one of those ways is just to open up the doors, bring the community in, and enjoy just some live music in the beautiful place, you know, that we're in at the edge of Delaware Park. So that's really what Party on the Portico is all about. Beautiful location, and the best part has to be the music. Tracy, tell us about Music as Art. Yeah, so Music as Art and the History Museum uh, started working together uh, probably 10 years ago on the Cherry Blossom Festival, and it just became a natural fit. Like, music's what we do, so. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a little more background about the organization? Sure. Music is our uh, best known for our big festival we do every year. Uh, this year's 21 years. Oh, wow. um, but yeah, we do so much more than that. We uh, do an instrument donation program uh, where we take instruments and have them refurbished, find them new homes. And we work with musicians and do educational programs for them, networking, collaborations. And our mission is to create opportunities that fuel the unifying power of music. So. It is. It's a powerful tool, it is. right? What other events does Music as Art sponsor? Oh, gosh, all, all, all kinds of stuff. Uh, our own events, we do a youth jazz festival uh, a couple times a year. We have a battle of the bands that features like high school, college age kids. Um, yeah, we, we do a lot of fundraising because our uh, annual festival is free to attend. So lots of fundraising goes into make, keeping it free. And what sort of music can we expect to hear at this event coming up? Tomorrow's really exciting, actually. Uh, we have two bands tomorrow, uh, Tuesday Night and Sunday Rain. Okay. They weren't paired because of their <laughs> names. The weekdays. Right. And right. it's happening on a Friday. On a so Friday. Yeah, we've got multiple days in the mix here. Yeah. yeah, but they're two great bands. Definitely, definitely worth the ticket. Absolutely. Now, you know, this is all happening, like you said, just to introduce, reintroduce people to all that the Buffalo History Museum has. It's literally the place in Buffalo that stores all of our history. You've got so much cool stuff happening, right? That's right. Yeah, I mean, we really are like the city's archive, mm -hmm. you know, where we've collected uh, artifacts, photos, old news stories for generations. And so um, we're always looking for ways to kind of connect Buffalo to that history. And one of the fun things about Party on the Portico is it's such just an open and casual environment right. um, where you come in, you can grab a beer at the cash bar, we've got a food truck out front, but then you can wander around our exhibits and see, you know, some of these fascinating artifacts that have been collected through the generations, you know, learn about the Pan American Exposition, learn about our sports history and our icons exhibit. So, you know, it's a great, just fun night, you know, on our back portico overlooking Mirror Lake and Delaware Park. But in the meantime, you also get a history lesson on Buffalo, too. Absolutely. But let's get into the fun part, the food and drinks. What will you guys have to offer? Yeah, so we're going to have food trucks out front, and then we have a cash bar as well. Uh, so, you know, I think um, the tickets cost just $15. And if you become a member at the museum, uh, it's only $5. So I think it's really, you know, one of the better values you'll find of in like a summer concert series. But uh, Community Beer Works is a great sponsor for us. Uh, we partner with them on our beverages, actually. And they came up, I wish I had a can with me, because they <laughs> came up with a signature beer called the Portico Pilsner. To, oh, that's so cool. Well, you know what? Us. You're just going to have to go to the event to see it. That's right. That's, that's right. right. How does the community support the Buffalo History Museum? Yeah, I mean, we are so thankful to have so many great partnerships. And we're, we're so glad that we could partner up with Music is Art this year, you know, on uh, bringing some of the top local talent to the museum, you know, to, to, to play in this wonderful environment. Um, we really pride ourselves on strong community partnerships. You know, we've had a number of great uh, partnerships with uh, local organizations to create new exhibits. We partnered with Stitch Buffalo last year, the Young Crown Queens Institute earlier this year. 
So we're always looking for new ways to kind of bring, you know, all of Buffalo to our museum, to share Buffalo's story. And, uh, you know, Party on the Portico is just one more way for us to connect to the community. Absolutely. Now, you mentioned the tickets are $15, right? That's right. How can people get tickets? Yep, so there are two ways. You can pre-order online. Uh, just go to buffalohistory.org and click on our events page. Uh, or we are, you know, selling tickets at the door as well. Okay. So things kick off at uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow, and we can't wait to see everybody there. Absolutely. Some fun, some food, some music, and some history. The amazing part. That's right. Thank you so much for coming in. You can purchase tickets or season passes by visiting buffalohistory.org. And of course, you can get tickets at the door. Thanks again for coming in, guys. Thanks, Chelsea. Thank you.